Today I'm going to show you a very easy way to make a quick photo montage in under 60 seconds using Adobe Premiere Pro. This isn't the only way to do it, but it's a simple method that works really well. The first step is to figure out how many images you have. Start by putting them all in a folder, and then checking the total count. In this case, we see there are 61 items in the folder, but since the folder itself is included in the count, that means we actually have 60 images. When you right click to check the number of files, always subtract one to get the actual image count if working inside of Mac OS the way I am here. Now, let's take these into Premiere and get started. Inside Premiere, I have a basic photo montage project already underway, where I have an audio track I want to accompany my image sequence. Once in my timeline, I can see that audio sequence makes the total running time of my video to be about 4 minutes and 21 seconds long. In order to save myself a lot of time, we'll set the duration of each image to an actual number based on the desired length of my video. In this case, based on that audio track that will be accompanying the image sequence. So the first step is to open up the Premiere Timeline Preferences window. And if I do some simple math, I know my 4 minutes and 21 seconds of audio translates into a combined total of 261 seconds. If I divide that value by the number of images I want to fit within that time frame, in this case 60, I get the following value, 4.35. That means I need to set my still image default duration to 4.35 seconds and click OK. From there, I can import my images into the project where they'll automatically each be assigned a duration of 4.35 seconds. Next, I simply select them all and drop or insert them into my timeline. And with that, you'll notice how it aligns perfectly with the duration of my audio track. With them all selected, I can right click and verify they are going to fit within my frame size, in case any were captured in portrait mode. You might find that Premiere even automatically applies this attribute for you. Then while I still have them selected, all I have to do is press Shift D to apply the default transition, which in my case is set to be a dissolve. Now every image has a clean fade in and out. And if I wanted to add a Ken Burns style effect with some scaling, I could toggle on my position and scale attributes under motion within the effects tab, and then set keyframes that would allow my image to have some added motion applied. I could even move them to a different layer and add a looping animation as the background for any image that might be oriented in a portrait mode if I'm not looking to scale it. Of course, there is a lot more you can do too, but this is how you can quickly build an image sequence inside of Adobe Premiere Pro in under a minute.